As we're heading to our next campground, we decided that we were going to make two pit stops. We don't usually do this, but we're going to be passing by the Salt Flats and the Guadalupe Mountains. So we figured we'd just get out, take some pictures. Now the Guadalupe Mountains we're going to come back to because we want to hike the National Park. when you go check in all those packages already for you <laughs> uh, all right we're number six we have to come in through here and then go in through the barriers driving with packages to your campsite I don't necessarily recommend to do that we're gonna do it anyway. howdy <laughs> Ryan's all sporty <laughs> Come on, it's, it's almost before 4th of July. At least our time is almost before 4th of July. So you gotta be, you know, you gotta have the whole American flags out, American flag cowboy hat out. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be... Festive. Know, festive. Festive. Yeah, so. We're very festive. We try. We're in White City, New Mexico. And this, this campground seems to be surrounded by its own little town like you literally just walk over to the gift shop the grocery store the laundromat and the restaurant across the street otherwise there's nothing yeah it's, i mean it's a small little town it's the closest spot uh for carlsbad camp caverns and then yeah it's, it's got some post office it's got some inns <laughs> it, it does have a restaurant it's not that small of a town but it's it's a quaint little town it's just one street one little strip of a street so when he says it's not that small i'm like it starts here and ends here. <laughs> but no, it's cute. It's I cute. feel like it's the perfect New Mexico little tiny town. Yeah. A little touristy, but you know, not overly done, I think. It's fun. You like my ponytail. <laughs> so so what you want to look better? This or this? You be the joke. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking. We've arrived in New Mexico. I feel like we've been in Texas. But it's been a good two months. We've hit a lot of stops, and now it's time to move on. So we only got one more stop after this in New Mexico. We'll be back, don't worry. We haven't forgot about you. This is our second new state of the uh, season, and I think like our fifth state that we've been traveling through uh, during our third season. Let's see if I can not screw this up so the wife Gives me a hard time. Oh, 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 huh. Man, this is. Now I know why I don't give her a hard time. Oh, I missed it a little bit. Good enough. All right, New Mexico, we're here.
I know we said there's not much to do in White City, and there isn't. <laughs> but there is a trail over by the tent um, camping sites. Um, trail, I think it's almost four miles, and you can actually go all the way to the amphitheater where Carlsbad uh, caverns are. We're doing about two and a half. We, uh, again, got a little late, so we uh, had a big rainstorm last night, so yeah. we didn't sleep quite as much. Tito decided to jump on the bed. He was uh, quite nervous. Yeah, he had he had a rough night, so we had a rough night, so got started late. So it's it's a little toasty. There is absolutely no shade, <laughs> and of course there's no clouds. So at least we're up on kind of a mountain or a hill, and there's a nice little breeze. It's a little cooler. We're the only two people on this trail. I think I know why. It's almost a hundred degrees out. <laughs> So close to him because of this hat. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh, see, there you go. Everybody needs a cowboy hat when they're in a cave, 750 feet below the surface. No, no, I, I don't advise it because as the walls start to narrow, you're just going to start hitting your head or your hat. It is crazy having bathrooms and food and drinks 750 feet below the surface. And a mailbox. Yeah, in the mailbox. That was kind of cool. Like, you could actually mail out a postcard, whether you bring one um, or you buy one. You mm -hmm. can be able to fill out whatever you want. Um, very high humidity, obviously. It's about 56 degrees year round.
Oh. Couldn't find your way out? Yeah, I got lost. Just kept on going around and around and around. We just finished the caverns. Figured we'd do a quick recap about our experience. Uh, first thing we noticed is that the line to get in, horrible. Even first thing in the morning, it's long. And we bought our tickets ahead of time. So we thought, you know, you just walk right in. No. Nope. Yeah, you don't see, I, I got the tickets online and you don't seem to really need to do that. It might speed up the process just by like 10 seconds, I would say. <laughs> um, it, they're open at different time periods for you to uh, reserve. And so they only have certain time periods where you can be able to come in. I think it's every hour it changes. And so we reserved for 8.30, trying to get there as early as possible. It seems like that was the better option, and it was. Uh, luckily, we only had maybe 40 people in front, 30, 40 people in front of us when we first got there. We got there right at 8.30. But when we were done with the tour and coming back, it was packed. So yeah. I absolutely recommend come early, um, even 10, 15 minutes before that 8.30 mark, uh, and you're, you'll are you be just fine, and you'll be able to move on through there, and it won't be as packed, because I can imagine how packed the cave is, is going to be, and just waiting in line, because normally it's going to take you about, depending on if you take the elevator or not, an hour to two and a half, three hours just for walking throughout the cave, then you have to add in being able to you know get through the line initially too yeah so um what he was saying with the elevators is there's two options you either take the natural entrance in which you slowly meander your way down um it is a little steep a little slippery uh so i can see where maybe some elderly people or if you just have trouble with stability maybe you don't want to do that so then you can take the elevator um and that shaves off i think it was like a mile and a half so if you take the natural entrance, it's about two and a half miles um, to do the walk down there and then see the big room. And about halfway through, you get to take a break if you'd like, and you can either um, get some food, you can use the restroom. It was very interesting using a restroom inside a cave, 750 feet down. <laughs> so. As far as cost-wise, it's $10 to get into the National Park per person. And then for the self-guided tour, which we did, it's a dollar per person. We did have National Park Pass. Absolutely recommend being able to have it because that saved us $20 right there, just having that um, along with other places we've been. So you can do a King's Palace uh, tour, which is a guided tour. I think that's an extra $8. Um, to be able to do that. And I think they said that one was about 90 minutes. It's our last full day at White City, New Mexico. And since we're only about half an hour away from the Guadalupe Mountains, we decided we would take a trip over there, do a little hiking. Um, unfortunately, most of their trails are closed due to fire risk. So they have three to choose from. So we're gonna do one, maybe one and a half. Uh, just depending on how hot it gets. Let's do it. Was it everything you hoped it would be? Everything. That's really cool too. I'm sure the water falls down here too. Just when we thought we were done with the hike, we're on to a second hike. 
We went to go into the Piney Springs Visitor Center, which is like the Guadalupe Mountains National Park Center. You can get your passport stamped and check out everything. Well, they're closed for lunch from 12 to 1. So we figured put back on the backpacks with the water and let's go hike the nature trail. It's only like Why not two more? Only like a mile hike, so it should be pretty quick. And then she's getting attacked by flies. Once I don't again. know what is up with the flies here. <sighs> All right, let's go.